flying tactical aircraft. As you see today, it is an F model, incorporates a two-place cockpit. The two aviators aboard work as a team in all phases of the flight. or the Wizzo, Lieutenant Jason Hoke, call sign IAS from Allentown, Pennsylvania. During the flight, they're going to experience nearly 8 Gs, 8 times the force of gravity, as they maneuver the aircraft with the edge of its operating envelope. Today, we're going to see speeds of 700 miles an hour, and as slow as 100 miles an hour. But from the left, VFA 106 and a Super Hornet tactical demonstration. with the aircraft and rapidly point himself back down to earth. That nose pointing in the belt of the aircraft critical in a dog fight. going to draw a square in the sky. Let me tell you, for safety reasons, 
They keep it at this angle of attack, but this aircraft is actually capable of about double this angle of attack. Take a look from the left. The Hornet, high alpha pass. feet off the deck, they'll turn in towards the ship, maneuvering the aircraft at a known angle of attack to work themselves towards the landing platform. Even at El Centro or any hard surface runway, naval aviators will still use the exact same technique that they do to land it on the boat. I'm talking to Fonda last night, he said there's nothing, nothing like the thrill of landing on a carrier and nothing like the, the, the terror of landing on a carrier at night. You'll see the Hornet rounding the corner right there. 130 miles an hour on final. Side coming in for their carrier landing. Notice the landing gear, a grasshopper, grasshopper looking trailing link gear soaks up the entire brunt of that landing. And I'm told from the pilots, very, very soft despite the 650 foot per minute descent rate when they hit the deck here. Take a look. gentlemen takes many dedicated and talented young men and women to maintain, fix, and fly these incredible machines. Please join Fonda and I as in thanking the VFA 106 maintenance crew that is supporting this great super hard demonstration you saw today.